Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Angela. And I, it's funny because every time I feel like I have no content to put on here, I run into a tarot tag. So I ran into uh, Moon Baby's tarot tag today, um, tonight. And so I decided to go ahead and do it. So there's nine prompts on here and I will leave them down in the description below as well as the link to his uh, channel. Um, but there's nine prompts on tarot decks and I was going to do a couple oracle in there, but I'm like, no, I'm just going to keep it strictly tarot this time. So without further ado, let's get into it. So number one prompt is what is your most expensive deck? And um, that would be the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot by Anatorian and uh, the artwork by Anatorian and the uh, artwork, I mean the creator is Avalon Cameron. <laughs> um, I think with shipping, um, it was between 119 and 130 um, is what I paid for it. Um, but backs everybody's seen this lately because everybody's got them it's, the gilding is gorgeous the cards are fantastic fantastic and i don't i'm sorry i don't have better lighting i just don't but yeah these cards are flipping amazing well worth what i paid for them uh, yeah, so that is my most expensive deck. So, question two is, what is your least expensive deck? And my least expensive deck, I actually found at five and below. Um, it came in a bigger box with a little tiny guidebook. It's for beginners. Um, it's the Secrets of Tarot. It actually comes in this little tiny, well, not tiny, little tech box and I have not used it at all um, just because of the fronts the cards are super thin um, the backs the only thing I really like about this deck is the backs they're gorgeous um, and I did edge it in like a metallic blue uh, which this was like a year ago I'm I'm still getting blue on my fingers I don't know why because the other metallic markers I've used like this that came in the same package doesn't bleed uh, on your fingers it hasn't bled onto the cards which is weird um it did actually make like a mini micro border on the backs but the fronts didn't get bled on but this is a total beginner deck it's totally right away at smith um it's got keywords on it um it tells you what number it is um and uh it's cool I can't get past the images because they're so grainy that it's literally like somebody um, took the traditional Rider Waite Smith images, um, shook them up a bit, and then made like 10 copies of it. And then the 10th copy was what they put on here. Um, I can't stand it <laughs> um, but I keep this because it was five bucks um, at five and below um, and when I first got it I was still learning tarot so it was nice to have the keywords and stuff on the cards themselves so yeah that was my least expensive deck uh, number three the deck other collectors want to steal from your collection I no, for a fact, that would be the Bone Stone and Earth Flesh Tarot by Avalon Cameron and Anatorian that I just showed you, my most expensive deck, because there was only a thousand copies made. Um, every time I post a picture of it, somebody is like, oh my God, where can I get this? And I'm like, sorry, you can't, <laughs> because they sold out so quickly. Um, however, to shake it up, um, and I know a lot of people have this deck, 
but it is my second most expensive deck, and that is the True Black Tarot. Um, yeah, it's got this marvelous, like, gilding on it. Um, when I first saw this deck, it was out of print. Um, it has since come back into print, and the creators uh, make them by hand. Uh, look at that. Amazing. And then all of the majors... Um, why am I, why is that there? All of the majors have this, that same, like, guild on it. But these cards are luxurious. They are beautiful. Um, I think I paid between $92 and $98, just under $100 bucks for it, with shipping and everything. Um, I'm trying to find a major card here. I can't find any. Um... It is kind of a different deck as well. There's the hangman. And look at the top. It's got this, like, yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Um, they feel very velvety. Uh, string card. Look at that. Uh, just comes to life. The Hierophant. Hmm. Um, it, and I only say that, and this is probably one of my favorite death cards ever. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful. And I only say this magician. I only say this is one that somebody would want is, uh, is that the question? I totally forgot the question. The de other, yeah, other deck collectors would want to steal. Because it is expensive, um, it's very luxurious. Um, like I said, at the time I got it, or wanted it, and saw it for the first time, it was out of print. So you never know when it's going to be in print from what my I've experienced. So I think that would be another deck that people would want to steal, because maybe they wouldn't want to spend that money. Um, but I'm telling you now, totally worth it. Especially when you know the storyline behind uh, the creators and everything. This is a glorious, glorious deck. Glorious. Um, it is one of my most coveted. And that's not just because it's, it was my second most expensive deck ever. Um, anyway, moving on to question four. What is your strangest deck? So, my strangest deck... Um, and a lot of people may not think that it is my strangest deck, but I think it is the new Ella era elements tarot. Um, I got this from us games website. Um, I don't think you can get it on Amazon. I think I got it on us games. It's the book. Um, it, and the reason I say it's the strangest is because one, it doesn't go off of the normal symbols. Um, it goes off of earth, air, fire, water instead of s swords, wands, cups, and pentacles. <laughs> but And it is a very, very modern deck. Um, that would be a string card. Or maybe. No, it's not. Um, but And I haven't worked with it as much as I was when I first got it, but this deck holds no, it, 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 it holds nothing back. It, this deck is like a gut punch, um, when you read with it. And I think that's what makes it to me the strangest deck because a lot of people may not want to face, um, what this deck has to say to them or reveal to them. Um, I think it takes a very courageous um, and strong person to be able to sit with this deck and really see like the death card. I mean, I mean the devil card. That's the devil card. Um, the tower. Um, it, it takes a very um, uh, courageous and strong person to be able to look past. Um, 
not get emotionally tied to this card, this deck, and just know what it has to say. Um, and it's just, uh, it, like I said, it's a gut punch, um, like this grief card. Um, it's, it holds nothing back and you need to be prepared for whatever it comes out of it because you may not like it. Um, because it is going to sock you and knock you for a loop. Um, but at the same time, it is one of the reasons I adore this deck. Uh, I'm looking for some other guys in there. I can't find them. Uh, and that's why, yeah, this torment is uh, just, it's crazy. Some of these cards. I do love that. But it's oppression. And that speaks volumes to me. Um, I first saw this deck on Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, and I'm like, I have to have it. I have to have it. Uh, cruelty, look at that. Everything is laid bare out in the open, and that's how I feel about this deck, is it, it fillets you and opens up a whole lot of things for you, and if you're not prepared for it, it could really knock you for a loop. Um, and that's why I think this is my strangest deck because of how powerful it can be. Um, so yeah. Um, next one, number five, the deck other collectors are least likely to have in their collection. Um, and I got this on makeplaincards.com. I've rarely used it. Comes in a tuck box, uh, but it's the Third Eye Ascension Tarot. It could also have been in my Strange Deck uh, category. Um, it's very modern. Um, very modern. Uh, the Hanged Woman. I love that. Um, I really... When I first got it, um, something told me to buy it, and I really haven't touched it since then. But as I'm looking through them now, um, it's like there's a reason why you got this card or this deck. So I may have to work with it now. Like I feel this draw to work with it all of a sudden, looking through it. Um, yeah, it's very weird uh, feeling I'm having right now. <laughs> the world, uh, the full um, magician. It's just very different. And if you've watched my channel all, you know I'm all about decks that are different. Um, and this is probably, probably is the strangest deck I have. Um... But it's also probably when I've never seen this anywhere. I've only ever seen it on my playing cards. Nobody else that I know of has this deck. If you do have this deck, let me know. Comment in below. Um, we'll talk about it because I've never seen anybody else with this deck. So that was question... It's late. Sorry. That was question five. Question six. Your oldest deck that you've had the longest. Or your oldest deck or the deck you've had the longest. So I just started my tarot journey last April, so I don't have any antique decks, nothing like that. So I'm going to show you guys the first deck I ever got, which, <clears throat> again, if you watch my channel, it's the Radiant Rider Waite Smith um, tarot deck. And when I got this, I knew nothing. There's an extra card. I knew nothing. Um, and the card stock in this is fabulous, by the way. Um, I knew nothing about tarot. I knew nothing about RWS. I had no idea that RWS was as huge as it is um, in the tarot community. And um, I was attracted to the bright colors. Um, and I was like, ooh, yeah, I'm going to get this deck and work with it and learn it. And then... When I got it home, it's almost like I detested this deck. I've never worked with it other than to learn 
uh, what the meanings are um, of it. And I didn't really start doing that until I got my second deck ever. Um, but I never connected with this deck at all. At all. And I only got it because it was with a guidebook. The guidebook I love. It's huge. Um, for a beginner, it's a perfect deck for that. Um, I just never connected with it. And, um, yeah, uh, it was just not one that I ever used and I even edged it in this light yellow cause I hate the big white borders. Um, I just never connected with it, but I keep it because it's my reminder to only work with decks or buy decks that I'm called to and all the other ones that I have in my collection now, um, because I had four tarot decks starting this year. Now I have probably 25. Um, it's been a big tarot year for me. But I've only bought decks that I know I'm going to use. I know I'm going to work with. That somehow have this siren call to me that I need I need it. Um, and then once I get it, usually there's some huge message in it. Um, once I start working with it, there's like, that's my light bulb moment. That's why I had to buy this deck because of this. Um, so yeah. Um, that's the only one though I've never worked with. Not really. Um, so that was my oldest deck in my collection. Uh, seven, what is your newest deck? And my newest deck, I just got in the mail this week. It is the Oak, Ash, and Thorn from Kickstarter. Um, it's no longer in the box because I don't want to mess the tech box up because... Um, it came with a whole bunch of stuff, and I didn't want to mess it up. So I made a little pouch for it with a cute little button. Um, the button screams Oak, Ash, and Thorn, like when I got this. And it's fall colors, and it kind of matches some of the colors in the deck. Oh, and it's beautiful. It's a thick deck. Uh, but this deck is gorgeous. I've been working with it all week. Um, I, I can't talk enough about this deck. I knew when I got it, when I purchased it uh, way back in May, that I was going to love it. And I've been chomping at the bit ever since. Look at the babies down there. I just did walk through on this deck as well. Uh, but yeah, this, this deck is gorgeous. Um, oh, these are the backs. And it has a, that very fall like quality to it so that's why I chose these colors and what's funny is when I got the um, yarn home to start working on the baggie here the color is called fall so <laughs> I'm like that's cool um, so yeah that is my newest deck I just got Monday or Tuesday of this week so that was number seven. Number eight, the deck that made you want to collect decks in the first place. And I will be the first to tell you I'm not a collector. However, one of the first decks that I purchased that I was like, when I first started my tarot journey, I saw this deck. It was not, I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm like, I'm never going to have it. And then a couple months later, or a few months, several months later, um, it, yeah, because it was last year, last April, um, and I wound up getting it April or May of this year, um, is the Encore Tarot by Cheryl Marchetti off his Etsy page. He has a uh, website too, but again, with the red gilding, <laughs> it's good. my camera I don't do it justice, but this is the tarot deck that I was like, hmm. Once I got it in my hands, I was like, oh, look at that. Once I got it in my hands, I was like, well, maybe there are other decks I could get. And again, this is one of my favorite decks. This is, I've said before, every chance I get to show off this deck, I will. The cardstock is amazing. I hate borders, but the borders on, on these do not bother me at all. Um... The red gilding on it. I've shuffled this 
hundreds of times. I used it for the month of August as my deck. Um, it hasn't cracked, chipped, nothing. Um, I'm looking for, did I already use do it? The moon card in this deck is fantastic. I'm looking for it, looking for it. Yes. Look at that moon card. Come on. Come on. And I knew he had other decks. Um, but this one just called to me. And this is a reimagined uh, printing of a, several of his decks. So I feel like I don't need, I mean, I do want more of his decks. But I don't feel like I need them. Uh, because I have this deck that kind of does a collaborative thing on all of his decks uh, that he has out there. And the artwork is just fantastic. Um, but this is the deck. Once I got it, I'm like, hmm. This one somehow came into my possession. Um, I mean, I purchased it. But when I first saw it, it was not in print. And so it just kind of sent me on this like, um, yeah, I can get other decks if I want. Um, and then I have to show you as a secondary contender, um, as I've said with the Rider Waite Smith, I, for the longest, I detested Rider Waite Smith because of the first deck I bought. And then I watched Simon from the Hermit's Cave do a walkthrough of the 2.0 Tarot. This is a pretty much what they call a clone, but the coloring in this the artwork is exactly the same, but the coloring is OMG, like gorgeous. And I bought it, not thinking I would ever work with it, but I wanted it for the colors because the colors were vastly different than the Rider Rider Waite Smith. Look at those guys. I mean, it's just gorgeous. <laughs> and then I got it home where I got it uh, delivered to me. And then something said, take it to work. I'm like, okay. So I took it to work. And then something was like, do a lunchtime reading with it. And I did a lunchtime reading with it. And it was like the light bulb went off. All of a sudden, I was super connected with this deck. I used it for months and months and months and months. Well, three, four months now. I just really quit using it for a while. Um for my lunchtime draw every day at work and come on just the color changes in this deck um gave it a whole new feeling to me a whole new energy that i felt in this car in this deck that i never felt in the, the radiant rider weight smith um oh, look at that world i mean Every bit of these cards are amazing. Ten of Swords. This Empress is... That sky is everything. Everything. It's just phenomenal. Um, and this is on Make Playing Cards too. I think I paid $32 for them. Worth it. Um, and then that kind of sent me on a little Rider Waite Smith buying tangent. Um, I since bought the PM's Vintage Tarot. Um... I have a couple others I got of my playing cards, and then I have the uh, new. Um, I have one coming. It's something about a crackle. It's got cracklebacks, orange, yellow, or or orange, amber, or uh, like blue, gray. Can't remember the name of it. Um, but I will be doing a walkthrough when I. Um, when I get it. Uh, but that kind of set me on a Rider Waite Smith tangent of buying different Rider Waite Smiths that I was drawn to. Um, and I have a pouch that I made for that as well. It's been in that pouch since I got it because it didn't come in a box. Just saran wrap. Not saran wrap, but like shrink wrap. So those, those two are like what sent me on this whole other like deck buying extravaganza I've been on this year. <laughs> Um, and number nine, the last one, your favorite deck from your collection. Um, I will tell you the Bonestone and Earth Flesh Oracle is pretty tied 
But if you've seen any of my channel, you know my favorite deck of all time is the Lightseer's Tarot. Um, this is the mass market version, not the Kickstarter version. <sighs> this is my soul deck. Uh, this is the deck that um, I, a lot of answers, a, a lot of questions I'd had about tarot and about um, me um, were answered when I got this deck. Um, and that's why I say it's my soul deck, because it helped me open my eyes to a lot of things. It helped me um, recover from a lot of things that I hadn't realized I still had in me. Um, this is the deck that is like the best friend that you never had, that doesn't judge you, that's going to give it to you straight, but in a gentle way. And that's the kind of friend I need um, in my life. I've had many friends come and go um and this one was just like i i i was meant for you um and that's why i'm like this is my favorite deck of all time and i know i've just started my journey really in the last year and a half but wow this deck and i have had some times already some major Times and they were wonderful. There's a lot of healing that took place, um, a lot of just self discovery with this deck. So, yep. Yeah. Uh, and I don't know why I've edged it, I put it in incense to clean it, clean it, cleanse it when I first got it. Um, I use Palo Santo on it a lot of times, but it still retains this distinct weird smell um it's not weird it's just this distinct smell um when i first got this deck it's the only deck i have that smells the way it does and it's so odd to me that i i'm still constantly smelling this deck. <laughs> i've had it since the end of last year um and sometimes i will pull it out just to smell it because it calms me down and i'm like i don't know why I don't know what the smell is. I really don't. But it's a calming. It's almost like I'm breathing the deck in. Um, it's very weird. Um, if you guys know anything about that, let me know. Because, yeah, that's just weird. Uh, I still find it weird, even though I do it all the time. But, anyway, that was my nine prompts uh, for the VR I'm doing for Moon Baby. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification button uh, so you're alerted to any of my future videos. And you guys have a great night. Bye.